What's up? You know where I'm going with this? How about Louisville, KKK, Kentucky? Breonna Taylor can't get justice. Black folks can't get justice. And the sad part is some Uncle Tom, Attorney General, who said, who not only did he sit there with Trump on his uh, convention, but this turkey sitting up there going to justify those racist cops. And then one racist cop called the protest the thugs or something. He didn't get charged. Now, how does it work that two cops fire inside the building? They don't get charged. The one who don't fire, he gets a $15,000 bond. They could have saved it. And you know the 12 million was hush money. There's two different justices in this country. There's white people justice, and then there's just black us. And sometimes until somebody white tells me that they got can can speak directly to me, most of them, I think, is racist. Most of them. Not all, but most. Because the psychological disease and venom that is allowed for these police to, to, to uh, the capacity it's allowed to manifest under, is not sane. We're going through this every day. You know, you can get a ham sandwich can get you prosecuted, but you can shoot black people and no justice. And when you have a, a, a lawless, you have somebody who William Barr, Trump, etc., who act like this isn't systematic racism, it's an institutionalized racism, the denial continues to manifest. I always tell it like this. The cops work for black people too, but they seem to not get the memo. That This whole you got to drive while black, walk while black, think while black, in America, and you're born and bred here, but yet you're not free here. Never going to be free here. It's a sorry state of affairs if you black from 8 to 88 and the threat if somebody looks at the color of your skin to wipe you off the face of this earth. That's the grim reality. And it's a shame when I think about Louisville, Kentucky. That's where the greatest Muhammad Ali was from. And this is embarrassing. This is a travesty. Breonna Taylor was a frontline worker. First of all, someone is breaking in in your home and you shoot. You, they didn't identify themselves as cops. They've changed the law conveniently for the knock rule, the Breonna Taylor rule, and have changed the law conveniently. They were in the wrong house with wrong information. 2020 police with high tech who can trace things, go to social media apps and find stuff, couldn't get the right situation. And this is how it ends up. $12 million. Remember that. I want you to remember that. I'm not going to forget it. Now, I wonder to see if the NBA players are going to boycott and walk. WNBA players going to boycott. Because Breonna Taylor was the focal point. And, you know, people always got a narrative where Breonna Taylor was a frontline worker. She didn't ask to get capped up like that. She got no justice. We don't get no justice here. This country has been racist, it continues to be racist, and it continues to glorify white privilege and to allow the people in blue to do what they want to do. Because this is a right out of patches out of slavery. It's a travesty. But remember when I say it, and I mean it, Breonna Taylor did not get any justice in Louisville, KKK, Kentucky. And we have not gotten any justice in the America KKK either. Political prisoners, reparations, etc. Beyond getting paid respect or give us our own. Because that's what it should come down to. This is just another example of what they think about us. And they do it and wear it. I tell anybody, you go out there and you vote, you send a strong statement. And don't let no Uncle Tom, because they black in the office, mean doesn't mean jack. His whack behind need to go. He sat there at that Republican convention grinning and shucking and showing more teeth than a cow spits out white milk. That turkey need to go. This ain't nothing to get excited about. There's nothing to get excited about a tour million hush money. It makes you mad, makes you boil. 
we need justice in this country. Or, or give us reparations and let us find our own land, our own spot. But we can't trust, you can't trust the police, you can't trust the government, you can't trust the CIA, you can't trust none of them. Because they've been systematic and institutionalized against black folks. And nobody should be able to rest. And I will tell anybody, why do you stop protesting? Why do you take it once you get like a little bit of a bone? Should you need to march every day? And if this don't fire you up, I don't know what will. It should fire you up. And for white folks who are down for the cause, anybody else is down for the cause, make your voices heard. See, I tell anybody, if you down, you need to speak up. Because if you don't say nothing and you're silent, I think you're the enemy. And I mean that. And you can quote me on that. That's my thoughts and takes about Breonna Taylor not getting justice in Louisville, KKK, Kentucky. You give me your thoughts, your takes. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell rings. New video. I want some feedback. I hope to get it. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. And ain't no justice until you make stuff happen. And who's going to make it happen? Because right now, they are using a pandemic to justify racism. And they're building it. And it's been going on for 500 years in this country. It needs to stop. We got to make some changes. I'm out.